Hey folks, thanks for tuning in for another video. Today I am uh, very pleased to present this knife which I have received in the mail today. It just came in a few minutes ago. And uh, as you can see from the title of this video, this is indeed a neck knife made by a guy named Jason Wilder. This happens to be my first custom knife ever, uh, which is really cool. Uh, it's not very expensive. In fact, the knife itself is only $60. The guy sells them actively. Uh, he sells them in little batches, and uh, again, his name is Jason Wilder, and uh, he lives in Texas, and he's a custom knife maker, and these are all $60 neck knives that he sells. That's what he's got a line of uh, currently, and the way that it works is you can actually contact him through his Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash wilderforge, I believe. Uh, I'll put the link below in the description and uh, also he goes by the username J.A. Wilder on bladeforums.com so you can contact him through either one of those methods and on bladeforums he's got a whole um, for sale thread where he'll post up these knives that you can order but the way that uh, it works is you choose a blade style from one of several he's got six or seven different blade styles to choose from and why don't I open this while I'm talking so you're not getting bored just staring at a box um, but he'll have several different blade styles available to choose from and you basically pick out the blade style that you like and then you choose the materials that you want him to make it from and he's got several different ones he's got different finishes that uh, you can choose from and then once you choose your blade and your finish you pick the handle scales and the liner material you choose what you want the uh, what do you call the little dealies the little the little eyes the little eyelets or bolts that go through the handle this these are fixed blades by the way and if you couldn't tell already, since I'm talking about neck knives, um, you choose all the different materials, you pick your own configuration, and then you basically tell him what you want, and then for 60 bucks, he'll make it. Now, there's a few little extra little things that you can do to make a little bit, uh, it'll cost a little bit more, but to make it a little bit more personalized, he'll do some fancy finishes and maybe use some more premium materials. Let's see if he's got anything invoice or anything that needs to come out. He's got a little piece of paper that says knife care tips. That's kind of cool. Wilder Forge. Oh, this is cool. It's like uh, it's kind of like a, a little birth certificate for the knife. This is really special. So he gives you a little description of it there. DP Necker. He tells you what the material is made from. So the blade is made from 01. And uh, he gives you blade sickness. Six. Bleh blade thickness 760 fourths and then you choose your finish and on this one I chose stone wash handles made from red and toxic green or as I like to call it neon green G10 and then he gives you different types of fasteners bolster you know full tang hidden tank skeletonized he signs it and dates it how cool is that that is really really neat Jason if you ever watch this video thank you so much for doing this for me this is not only my first custom knife but this is actually my first let me get this back out again uh, this is actually my first fixed blade that I've bought in a long time that I expressly purposely went out and purchased I've bought some fixed blades used locally you know if I see a good deal on something I've picked one up here and there and uh, this is the first one that I purposely went out and said you know I, I have to get one of these I saw his designs I saw the materials he was using I said that's for me. I got to get one. I went and picked out my colors, told him the finish I wanted right away and said, you know, let me get in on the next batch. And he does do these in little batches. He won't do them all. Um, he won't do them all at once. This is my Kershaw random leak, by the way. Take out my little invoice sheet that he placed it in. And uh, wow, I'm already, I'm really super excited. And uh, yes, it does come with a Kydex sheath and he custom makes these to go with each knife. So I'm already really excited to see the handle and that really great G10. And what's so cool, about, and I really hope that that comes out, I think you can see that uh, neon green, the little liners are really thin, but it just adds that lovely little touch. This portion of the, the tang of the blade is very highly polished. Let's go ahead and pull this out. And there is the blade with that stone wash finish. That, that is gorgeous. That really is beautiful. That is so cool. That's so exciting. And uh, this was a blade shape. If you go and you look at his page that he has on blade forms or even on his Facebook, this blade style is a little bit new. How this uh, 
this portion of the blade dips down so far for sort of an added finger guard. That's a little bit of a newer style, so if you look around you might not see too many examples of that. But I saw that he was making this style for someone else, and I asked him if he'd make one for me, and he said yes. So, uh, with all these little things I was able to choose, the stainless bolsters, that one's got the little flared hole, you know, you can, you can tie something through it, you can loop a little something on there. Um, with the finish on the blade, the blade style, the handle materials, you can choose all the different colors, and he's got so many different colors to choose from. You know, he's got green and red. Um, I don't remember if he had uh, blue, but he had orange. He's got different types of micarta, all kinds of different stuff going on. And he'll make all of this for 60 bucks. Now, when you go to buy it, you can pay a little bit extra. You can insure your knife. I can hear my tablet my phone going off in the background. Um, now I'm losing my train of thought. Um, you can choose all these different materials and then you can pay just the straight 60 bucks or if you want to pay a little bit extra to help out with insurance and some fees then you can do that. And I chose to uh, pay a little bit extra to help him out on fees and uh, shipping insurance just to make sure that this little puppy got to me safely. And it did. So my actual grand total I believe was $64.80 for a custom made expressly for me DP Necker Knife from Wilder Forge, and this is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm not a big fixed blade guy, as a lot of you know from watching my videos. This is something that's a little bit new to me, but I mean, when you see, when you look at just how absolutely beautiful that is, how nicely finished it is, and to be able to get that for, you know, so little of a price, I mean, who could pass that up? And so that was exactly where I found myself. I said, I'm not really a big fixed blade guy, but maybe after this, I will be. And I mean, the, the size of it, it's a, it's a, you can see it's a little sm on the small side. We're definitely, definitely talking about a neck knife. So this is intended to be small, convenient, you know, ready to grab out in a flash. Um, great all around outdoor kind of knife. But uh, despite the small size of the handle, you can see I can get all four fingers on there. The last one's kind of a little bit on the edge, but still very comfortable. Uh, no jimping, no weird thumb ramp. This is my preference. I like them nice and smooth like this, and I think all his knives come this way. You could probably ask for jimping, but I don't remember seeing any. Um, nice blade guard there. How it extends past that handle by that much, so you know my my index finger or any of my other digits aren't going to slip up onto the blade as I cut. Um, but just completely beautifully comfortable. Just wonderful. Everything is so smooth and polished. Now the G10 is pretty smooth, but it does have some texturing to it, and it's definitely grippy. That's not that's not going to slip out of my hand. Full tang construction, so you know it's going to be nice and solid. This knife should last years and years, if not absolutely forever. And I just can't stop gawking at it. It is just beautiful. He's got his nice little maker's mark uh, stamped into the tang there, or excuse me, stamped into the blade. And you can see we do have a full flat grind on that blade. It's almost like sort of like a little tiny chef's knife in a way. And I just love this pattern. I think that this is going to be uh, probably one of the most utilitarian of his blade shapes that he offers. There was a couple other ones that I wanted to try. There's one that he does that's sort of a sheep's foot, and it's almost a worn cliff. So if you almost can imagine the blade being upside down, being this way, this being the edge, and then this being the spine of the blade, he offers one in that type. And I'll probably buy another and go for that style. But I thought I'd get this one just as a good all-around first try and see how it turns out. I, I'm telling you right now, this guy could charge more for this. He could absolutely be charging twice the price on this. Just beautiful. Super. <laughs> I just can't stop saying it. You know, I don't normally gush like that in my videos, but man, that is just tremendous. I'm so excited. My first custom knife and my first fixed blade knife that I went out and bought on purpose. I've got a couple other fixed blade, you know, production model fixed blades in mind, but this is uh, the first of this type that I ever considered getting, and I'm just really excited and glad that I did. So that, once again, that's Jason Wilder at Wilder Forge, and you can find him at facebook.com slash Wilder Forge, or go on to Blade Forums and look up his username, which is J.A. Wilder, and uh, check out his knives, and if you think that this looks cool, and you look at some of his photos on his Facebook, and you like those designs, I mean, for just a little over half, you know, of $100, just over 50 bucks, and you could get something just like this, but totally personalized to your specs. You know, get a nice scotch bright finish, or maybe you want orange handles or black or something traditional like a brown micarta or something in that something in that vein. Um, just that. I'm just super excited. I can't wait to go cut with it and try it out. Now, uh, California's uh, fixed blade laws are kind of picky. Now, technically speaking, a neck knife should be legal, but I probably won't be taking this out and around wearing this from my neck. This will be for camping, for hiking. 
and for around the house. So some, it, this will be a little bit more discreet than you know c carrying this around town. Although I could you know clip this to my belt as long as it's visible and wear it that way. But I think this will be more like I don't want to say special occasion, but you know more for outdoor use. And that was really why I got this. I thought this was just an absolutely perfect little camp knife. You know you're out at the campsite, maybe making up some food, cutting up some food with this, maybe whitt whittling a little bit on some sticks. You know, maybe you're making a fire, you need a little knife to help you start a fire. All those little things is, are, are exactly why I chose this knife and this design. And I think it's going to be absolutely perfect. Let me click that back into place in there. Nice and snug in that sheath. And it looks like that's going anywhere. And uh, there you have it. So, that is a $60 neck knife from Jason Wilder at Wilder Forge. So again, if you see this video and you like the style of this knife or you think you might be interested in getting a knife similar to it, you know, tailored to your own specific choices, definitely check him out and pick one up before he raises the price, which I imagine he will when these start to get more popular. So please check him out. Thanks for watching another video and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.